Okay, here we are again, Windrush, remembering the sound man them. Today we're in Manchester with Wizzy from Barren Sound. Respect, Bridget. Respect, my brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, Wizzy, um, Barren Sound, what was the inspiration for you guys in Manchester here to set up a sound system and why did you set up a sound system? <clears throat> well, first of all, the inspiration came through just listening to the music and growing up around some of the older man having sound. I remember as a youth man, the first time I saw a sound box, it was in a um, house thing. And I think it was a reception or something in the cellar. And I remember spending time looking at this box, mm. you know, thinking to myself, wow, mm. it's big that is. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a big box that, but I was fascinated by it, you know what I mean? And I was, at that same moment, I thought I want one of them, mm. just as a youth man, you know. Mm. But I always had the, I always loved my music, and I always had my record. I used to look at my dad's record and stuff like that when he wasn't there. Mm. Yeah. You know, so. So <clears throat> you sound. Was there any issues around you setting up sound? Like some sounds have said, for example, that racism going to clubs. They found well, out they didn't fit. And... Well, for us, really. We, in our early days, we was we, we played predominantly around our community. Mm. You know, it was either a house party or a little blues or the youth club. Um, sometime we got a break and played in the West Indian Centre. So mm. I was re I never really faced racism as such when mm. we started to play the sound. Mm. You understand? It, okay. it was it was like mostly in the community. Okay, okay. Yeah. What year did Baron set up? We initially started around 74 but before we get to that we wasn't always called baron mm. we, we, when we set up we, we, when we decided that we was gonna have a sound mm. the song was called santic city called santic city santic city yeah because you know them days you have the quaker city and yeah. the studio city and yeah. all this type of thing you understand yeah. so we said right we, we have a call ourselves santic city yeah so we built up a little sound and um it was like you know customized with a little preamp and you get one of the builders, the local builders. In our case, we had a couple of builders in Manchester. We had Daddy Low, rest in peace. Who, da Daddy Low was Lord Kia's brother. Mm, okay. Right? He, he, was a, he, had, he was a builder and he had another man called <clears throat> Leon who used to build as well. Yeah. And we wanted Daddy Low to build us our first one, but he was so inundated with, with jobs. Mm. We went to Leon and Leon made us a preamp and that little amplifier yeah. thing and okay. so we, tr we trial and error with it and yeah so that's that's how the sound set up <laughs> yeah um how many of you was in the sound and do you remember the names of the man name that was in the sound yeah it was about it was about five of us five yeah this is even before clive okay right there was there was me there was barzy there was junior there was Trevor Goodness from Jagide, mm. before Jagide built so on. Trevor Goodness was amongst us, mm. and Pedro. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just five of us. Um, question: What, but a bit of the inspiration? What out of town sounds inspired oh, you? Oh, bloody hell! What kind of out of town sounds inspired it, you? Well, it was Sir, Sir Coxon. Mm. Yeah, and um, Just Sufferer from mm. London, mm. Mafia Tone from Birmingham, mm. and Quaker City. Mm was like they, they were, was a chief yeah. <coughs> sounding that was like inspired to be like them yeah <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, yeah. quaker city for his heaviness yeah right and his crystal clearness. yeah man mafia tone for the music yeah so coxon for all around yeah. you, you know he, yeah, you know yeah. i'm just sufferer was like one away differently <laughs> <laughs> you understand just yeah. suffer a song so, from that so, suffer was a bit like more ambassador yeah right? man but just suffer was bad <laughs> you, you know he was the first one i had paid bob marley dub wise you know not yeah. special you know man yeah not like this special where man dub wise yeah. and it, you know what tune it was war um, on dub before the, the album come out and yeah. he played it mm. against mafia tone up here in manchester mm. Right, and that tune alone mashed up the dance war okay. yeah so that, them, them sounds was the ones yeah uh, okay question where did you where did your sound used to buy its music? Where did you used to get its music from? Well, we'd, we'd have, we had local record shop. We had Lord Kazar record shop by them times there, and Duke Murray. He was an, another old sound, sound from Manchester, but he had a record shop. 
and we used to buy tunes from them. But, <coughs> but when we used to listen to, we used to like going to listen to different sound out of town mm. and all that. And then you'd hear them playing some songs where, well, how come we now get them there up yourself? So, mm. so mm. it was a case of, right, right, we have to go to Birmingham yeah. and we have to go to London yeah. to get them. So most of the time, yes, we bought locally, but if we had to travel, to buy tune, mm. it was usually Birmingham or London. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. any record shops you remember you used oh, to go to? Oh, God, man. So far, B record shop in the market. Um, oh, God. You go to Gangsterville? Yes, went to Gangsterville. Harrow Road. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we went to Gangsterville. Yeah. Remember Gangsterville, man? Um, oh, God, man. Daddy Cool, um, um, Silver Camel in the West End. Fucking hell, oh, there's loads of them, man. Yeah. Lots of them, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. When you set up your sound, where locally did you play? Um, what kind of places? Clubs, pubs, community centres? We, we what, played. In locally in Manchester? We, we, we mostly, we was like, we became a resident at the local youth centres. Yeah, where was that youth One center? of them was Burley Youth Club. That was in Hume, yeah. and and Moss Side Youth Club, which obviously it was in Moss Side, yeah. and, and there, actually Moss Side was where we actually was able to um, build the sound from. You understand? Because mm -hmm. we were regularly playing at the youth club, we we, get, we, we got popular and stuff, mm -hmm. and we, we we needed a bigger sound mm -hmm. period. So we, from there, Moss Side Youth Club helped us to really launch mm -hmm. ourselves as. A sound system, mm. so to speak. Yeah. So where did you play in locally? In where have you in Manchester? What were the what were well, the venues called? Well, they had the PSV club. Yeah, PSV. They had the, they had the Polish club. They had the eight four double one one centre. Mm. That was the next to the precinct, the library. Mm. We had the Mountain Street centre there. We had Westwood Street. We had Carmore Road. Mm. All of them we played at all of them. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We had enough places. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you sound? Only play in Manchester, or or did you play in other areas of the country? Well, we played in a few places in in, in the UK: um, Leeds, Leeds, Huddersfield, Bradford, Sheffield, Nottingham, Derby, Leicester, Birmingham, Wolverhampton, London, um, High Wycombe. Mm. Well, I can remember off the top of my head. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, you so played a few places. Yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. You played almost all over yeah, Britain. Yeah, from, Man yeah, from Manchester, yeah. you went out north, yeah, west, yeah, south. Yeah, 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 yeah. We went everywhere, man. Yeah. Because um, at that period, you know, um, in terms of sound systems, Manchester wasn't really on the map, so to speak. Mm. We fell off the map since because Lord it was on the map at one time, but mm. Lord Cas, you know gone back to Jamaica and what have you, and, it, and he didn't really build on his sound. He was always, mm. in terms of music, mm. there's not many man that, I don't think there was many man could test him, mm. really. Mm. But he didn't build his sound like how, for example, Quaker City built mm. his sound. Mm. So, you know, that, yeah. Okay, okay, awesome. Okay, so you really played, I mean, so your Baron kind of was one of the sounds that really put Manchester yeah, back on the map. Yeah, we, we did, because um, <clears throat> up to that point, I mean, like I said to you earlier on, mm. it, it, it didn't, Manchester wasn't up there, mm. but we, because yeah. of us lot playing out and becoming mm. popular, mm. right, mm. they started to realise that where all the sound mm. system there in Manchester, mm. we can hold them on. Mm. So that was how it came about. Mm. I mean, our first experience going out of town, actually, was um, going to Leeds. Mm actually leaving Manchester to go to another city to play. It was Leeds, was the first okay. place we went. Okay. And we, we hadn't built up as yet. Mm. Yeah, you understand? We had a decent enough sound, mm. we had good music and we had our skills. But going to Leeds, we was taught a lesson in terms of like sound, mm. volume, power and quality. Mm. The Leeds sound them at that time was powerful mm. compared to ours. Okay. You understand? Okay. okay. We, we got tossed in at least yeah, the first yeah, yeah. time, uh, right? Yeah, you lot was very powerful with numbers of people that would come behind yeah, you. Yeah, we had a yeah. lot of big following. Following a big but we, following. Our sound wasn't big enough yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we play in our leads and we get dust out, right? We come back to Manchester and we went back to the drawing board. Okay. And we said, right, that's not going to happen to us again. Mm. That is why Baron's sound end up having a heavy sound. Mm -hmm. Just for that experience there. Having? 
having a heavy sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just through that experience there, okay. going to Leeds, yeah? Because okay. we realise, yeah. you know, if you have a big sound, for play like them all, yeah? Enough backs. Enough backs, <laughs> right? So we didn't have enough. <laughs> right, when we got to them, man, they have double jai and all these things, yeah. some poor arms, some H&H H and all kind of something. <laughs> and I kill me with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, lie. Serious. I see a maverick them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I kill with it, man. And we come back and we say, you know what? That can't do it again, you know? So we never play out an old town again until we build up the sound. And then by that time, we had a good quality sound we build up now. Mm. Heavy can manage anybody now. Yeah, yeah. So that's when we more like go. Because in Manchester, everybody get for no. Barra them got never no rats like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we got popular through that. And then we start go back out of town again. And, too much sound couldn't really, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we had tune and we had the, yeah. the sound to and go with that. And you had, and you had a using. big following. Yeah, we had a big following. And plus, we was like the pioneer for hi-fi sound. Because mm. we was the, so we are used stereo mm. amplification mm. at them time where everybody had used valve. Yeah. Most men are buy them, get them amplification from Pritika. Yeah. You know, and other builders, the man in Derby, you had mm. the, the guy in Derby, you had the guy links in Birmingham, mm. they were builders, but we didn't have that. We had shop stuff. Mm. Mm. In, and man used to laugh after it until them hear it. Mm. You understand? Because it don't look like nothing. Yeah. But we understood um, hi-fi stuff. We yeah. knew about the Ohm's law and all this type of stuff. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So that is how we come out there and we had a big following and we had a big sound mm. with it as well. And mm. so that was like, it was complete. Okay. It was great, man. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, that's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, man. That's, that's, that's yeah. quite an interesting thing. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. Question, final question actually, does your sound still play now? Do you still have a sound? Yes, uh, man. We built back a new sound the other day, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We have a brand new sound system. Okay. A heavy duty one as well, isn't yeah. it? It's not a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a sound. It's not a hi-fi sound. No, it's a powerhouse. <laughs> yeah, we have, we've built back a new sound and we've done that out of the love of it, really. Mm. You know, we're not building it to sort of like... We want to go, they go challenge people and all that. Like. We're just mm -hmm. building it because we always believe that we must have a machine and people are always asking us, what happened to your sound? What happened to your sound? And all them mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So, Money Green inspired the, the, the idea mm -hmm. and we build back a song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we've got okay. a brand new sound right now playing. We have 14, 18. Mm. I play with mm. 18 inch bass box, okay. a thousand watts each okay. playing and we have almost a six crown okay. Okay. <laughs> so I work with. 2021 you know? after 20, Covid we can yes. be jamming to Barron again. planning to come to, to Leeds for play for, for my man. S for Scully's birthday. Yes, because yeah. we are come, we are say we are bring with sound yeah. and we are come play for your yeah. man. Yeah. And through this thing, yeah. everything get crushed. Okay. And that was it man. Okay. Mr. Wizzy Dan from Barron Sound, <laughs> Manchester. Mm. Enough respect. Mm. Um, great to hear your story. We'll be back because I think, you know... There's a lot I, more. <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, we'd be good to do a, a kind of get the Barron team together and do yeah. a group discussion. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah? Yeah. A qu question. With your sound, did you have many DJs and, yeah. uh, and singing Js? We did. We, we, um, you see, our sound, we went through the, 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 the period, the, we went through the 70s roots period and then when it changed to the, the dance hall thing with the DJ thing, because mm. me and Money Green was the DJ partner, so mm. I, I, used to, I could DJ as well. Mm. So me and Money, there was me and Money Green, then we brought, we had um, some, youth, uh, some youth around us, so mm. we brought like Tiny T and uh, um, Mr. Womble, um, Ashman, who else? A couple of others was around. There's a couple of others. Okay. And we had, um, there were people, it was like, for example, we didn't directly have a singer in our sound, you know, but mm. we had man that could sing there that when we played, they used to come, come mm. sing there, like Sugar Merchant, for example, mm. 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 before mm. Him, him, he went to Saxon, he used to mm. come sing over our song. We had a brother called Dreddy, he, he passed away quite recently. Mm. He was a drummer, but him. Mm. And, and a quick question, who was the man then, the different man, who was your selector, who was, who was your engineer, who was your manager if you had one, who was yeah. your operator? Well Clive, would I say is the manager yeah. for the song, 
right? He, 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 he was the one responsible for bookings and like if something went wrong with the sound, Clive was the one that would get it repaired or find a way of getting it fixed, whatever. In terms of the mechanics of the sound, we didn't really, we had, um, I was kind of forefront a lot because I could DJ and I, w I was selecting as well. Mm. But the main selector at that period was Pedo. Mm. But I was always d there or thereabouts mm. with the tune because I was the one that actually went, went and got the tunes mm. most of the time. Mm. More, more likely than any. Like if we needed to get tune, whether it be dub plate or whether it be 45 or whatever, I was the one that used to go and buy the tune then. Okay. Usually Clive would say, well, where's him? We need if you go to London, for example, and we need some dub, we have to go send who's out of London, blah, blah. I mean, we used to deal with that part there okay. as well. I mean, Bazi was the operator and also the engineer. Clive was the engineer too, right? You had, um, that mentioned the DJ them already, mm. right? You had the man them that moved the box, but we all, it was all, everybody moved the box. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. like any, you move box, blah, 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 oh. thing. You know, it was like everybody have to do them their share in, in, in the sound. It was more collective, more than a, like an individual thing. It wasn't like... There weren't really no box carriers. No, box Every, carriers. Yeah, everybody sound man. Sound. You name sound man. You know, yeah. name like box carrier, no. you name sound man. Sound yeah. man in, includes lifting up box, yeah. right? Yeah. Wiring up wire and all these kind of stuff, running the wire. For example, when we are wire up the sound, my job was to wire up all the top sections mm. Right, that was solely my job. Mm. So if the tops went funny, mm. there's only one man they're coming to you and that was me. Mm. So I used to make sure me now make my thing go funny. Okay. I'm double checking on it. Uh -huh. Every time I'm going back and I'm checking because I don't want no it cause want everything to run nice and that was my role. And who was mid range? Oh, I can't even remember who was doing the mid range. You know? I think that was between Barzi and Clive, I think, was doing that part, you know. Okay. I can't remember who was doing the mid range, but I was the tops man. Yeah. I used to wire up the top section star, all of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All the tops, nobody troubled the top section. Okay. That was me. Okay. Me do the tops and me, me, me do the horn and all them things. And yeah. me have the white, me keep the white and me know me hand. Yeah. No man now get them there till me reach <laughs> road at the control tower. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that was how it was. It was good, man. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you again. Um, mm from remembering, Winrush remembering the sound man, um, here in Manchester, respect, yeah. Bridget, respect. Yeah, man.